DSLRrookie.com, this section is, what should I buy? Now, a lot of people have come up to me before and they say, you know, hey, I'm getting started into uh, DSLRs, I want to get started. You know, what should I buy? How much should I spend? Now, this is very, it's kind of a tricky thing, uh, but not too tricky, actually. Uh, a lot of people get worried about technology when it comes to digital SLRs. People think that they have to spend a lot of money on their body. And that's about the biggest misconception you can have as a beginning DSLR shooter. Uh, the most important thing of photography is there's actually two things, is light and glass. Light is, you know, the sun can make that so you can get that for free. You can make it artificially, which can be a bit expensive. Uh, but the lens, the glass, is one major component of SLR photography. The lens is one of the few areas where if you get a quality lens of let's say even 10 years ago, it is still a quality lens of today. Precision cut glass is still precision cut glass. Uh, it's not affected by technology, as easily affected by technology. So something that's good 10 years ago is still good today. Uh, so the first thing I tell uh, someone that wants to get into DSLR shooting or SLR shooting is invest the most money you can on the lens and don't worry too much about the body. The body is like a DVD player. You know, every year a, a new, newer model seems to come out with better features and it makes the last year's model completely obsolete. Uh, so you could get the world's best SLR body or digital SLR body but next year there'll be something better and, and then the year after there'll be something better and it just seems to diminish in value year after year so quickly because it's so heavily affected by technology. But again, the glass does not get affected by technology. Quality glass is quality glass. So it's better to spend your money on an item that won't depreciate as quickly. The first thing I would recommend to any one starting off uh, in digital SLR shooting is to buy used. Uh, Craigslist is a great place to start, uh, you know, your local camera shop that has the used section, but it's to buy used. In particular, buy your body used because uh, you want to get that as cheap as possible. You know, as long as it's a digital SLR, I mean, it really doesn't matter what you get for the first one. But again, spend the money on the lens. The next major important decision when, when deciding, you know, I want to get into digital SLRs is what do your friends shoot? Look around you and see who else is in, the, in this hobby, who else is in this particular field. And if you find all your friends are shooting, let's say, Canon, then get a Canon body and lens system. Because what's going to happen is one day you might be out there, you know, shooting, scene, uh, you know, shooting a portrait, shooting some scenery, and you're going to be with your friend. And now you can borrow some of his equipment or he can borrow some of your guys' equipment, uh, your equipment, and you guys can reap the benefits of, you know, sharing. Uh, if you have a Nikon and your friend has a Canon, you will never be able to interchange the parts, so you guys are both kind of stuck with your own equipment. So the two main things, again, to recap in a rookie sort of way, of what I should buy as a, you know, a new digital SLR uh, person is, first of all, spend the money on the lens, and secondly, shoot what your friends are shooting.